Ibrahim Sagir has walked with the aid of his crutches since he was four years old when he was diagnosed with polio. He's almost 40 now. Ibrahim says he has long accepted his predicament and moved on with life. Growing up, I wanted to become a footballer, but I had to give it up when I was diagnosed with polio. However, I attended school to a secondary level so I could at least become somebody in life. And today, I'm happy because I no longer see my condition as a challenge. Polio is an infectious viral disease that affects the central nervous system and can cause temporary or permanent paralysis. Many polio survivors are found in remote parts of Nigeria. Nigeria was on track to be declared polio-free in July 2017 by the World Health Organization, WHO, until new cases were discovered in the north of the country in 2016. Since then, a concerted effort by the government and other donor partners to improve awareness, surveillance and administer timely vaccines has resulted in a drastic reduction of the spread of polio. Experts say various challenges, including insecurity in Nigeria's north, has previously hindered the progress in ending the spread of the disease. The main challenge why we have not been able to do that is because of the security challenge, the insurgency we have in the northeastern part of the country. But there is incredible partnership now with the military and all the global polio partners are doing everything they could to have access to these children. However, some partners say the efforts must continue beyond the country's quest to be declared polio free. The advocacy, the awareness has to go on because we don't need to you know, relax because we are going to achieve this. But we must continue to humanize the children of the world, the children of Nigeria. Because once any child is not reached, then that child is a danger to all the children. So the campaign must be sustained. Whether we are satisfied or not, but we are there, we will be satisfied. In addition to the awareness campaign, free polio vaccines are also administered to infants, especially in remote areas where poverty is still a major challenge. Nigeria has been actively involved in the Global Polio Eradication Initiative. The government is confident that its efforts in collaboration with local and international donor partners will halt the re-emergence of the disease and earn the country a polio-free status in 2019. Phil Ihaza, CGTN Abuja, Nigeria.